she just knew that her now ex was going to use all the lessons that he learned in their relationship and move on and use it in his next relationship. And I just wanted to say that 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 is not going to happen. You know, Um, he's still the same guy that he was with you. He probably hasn't changed much. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amoni, aka Petit Diva, and this video is all about a lady who came online to talk about how a boyfriend or ex-boyfriend of seven years entered into a new relationship just a month after they separated and how he was doing things that she used to ask for that he did not do um, with her with his new girlfriend. So yesterday I found out that my partner of seven years is in a full relationship with someone new after a month of separation. And the separation was to me to figure out what I needed because he cheated on me and he was an alcoholic and um, there was a lot of stuff that he did in the last few years of our relationship that lost a lot of trust from me. Um, but I knew that he was going through a hard time and I loved him so dearly that I was willing to put up with his behavior in order to get to the other side. Um, and when he cheated on me, I was like pretty much done. I don't want to do like our couples counseling anymore. Like I just like out of self-respect, like how can I be in this relationship? And so we decided that we would take the summer apart. And after the summer, we would come back together and figure out what we wanted and what I wanted and if I could be in this relationship. So he was gone for a couple of weeks at the beginning of the summer and then he had an accident where he needed to be here um, for a couple of weeks. So like that whole time he was just all over me, wanted to be with me, like would not stop touching me, would not stop like trying to cuddle. Um, and it just made things very confusing because I would ask him like, oh, do you want to be in this relationship? And he would be like, I mean, like, I don't see how it will work. Like if like, we don't want the same things. And I'm like, then why are you still touching me? If you don't want me in a relationship, why are you touching me? Why are you still doing that to me? Because it's really confusing to me. And, like, I obviously still love you. And if you don't want to be in this relationship, like, I would really appreciate it if you stop trying to, like, touch me and be intimate. Because that's really confusing to me. And up until the night he left, he was trying to sleep into my bed, trying to cuddle with me. He told me when he left that he had no interest of seeing anybody else, did not want to be with anybody else, just wanted to be with me, and that he was just going to give me that space that I needed. He didn't even want to go. And I told him, I was like, I feel like you're going to meet someone down there. Like, your family's going to introduce you to somebody, and, like, you're going to start seeing someone. And he was like, no, I'm not interested in seeing anybody. That's not going to happen. Like, that's ridiculous. Not even a month after he had been there, he calls me, and he was like, yeah, I met someone and we're going to go on a couple dates. I got her phone number. And I was like, how did you guys meet? And he was like, oh, just like saw her out in public with my family. And I was like, that seems a little like off, but okay. And then not even a week later, she posts a hard launch on Instagram with photos of him all over her, cuddling her exactly like he used to cuddle me. Um, and six days after that conversation it seems like you guys were hanging out a lot more than what you told me you said that you hadn't even hung out yet I'm pretty sure that was a lie and I think there was a lot more lies in our relationship and a lot more unfaithfulness and he let on and now I'm at this stage where like I found out this information yesterday and I'm so angry like so angry that like you would lead me on like this and then call me up and say like when I'm saying like why are you already interested in seeing somebody else he says like it just feels good to have somebody that's actually interested in me and actually like wants to give me affection and actually like like wants to like be intimate with me and I was like I wanted to be all of those things but we needed the good communication and the kindness first and I didn't get that and you wanted the intimacy to come first and instead of putting that work in with me, you decided to go to somebody else who's younger and get the intimacy from her first so you can just do what I've been asking you to do for years, which is take me on dates, have fun with me, be empathetic towards me, and have a fun life with me. Travel with me. Have fun with me. And I just never got that. And I think... 
what I thought for years is he's going to take all the lessons that he's learned in our relationship and apply that to somebody else. And he's going to give everything that he didn't give to me to somebody else in a new relationship. And that's exactly what happened. And like, I don't know if I'm fucking psychic or like, I, I don't know, like it just worked out exactly how I thought it was going to. And that doesn't make it hurt any less. Now she talked about how um, she and her ex-boyfriend decided to take the summer off from each other because um, he had cheated and he was an alcoholic. And she just wanted them to use the time apart to decide if they wanted to be in the relationship or not. Now, some weeks after they decided to separate, he had an accident and he had to stay with her in her house. And she said during that time, he was still trying to be all touchy-touchy with her. And she was asking him that what is going on, that she was getting mixed signals and that if he wanted to be in the relationship or not. And the guy was saying that um, he doesn't know if he wants to be in the relationship and all that. Now, after he recovered, he uh, went to meet his family and um, she said that she felt like he was going to meet somebody while he was with his family and probably we start a new relationship. And then some days after, he called her and then he said he had met someone, but he was trying to downplay it. Then some days after, she saw the new girlfriend posting pictures of him and her on her Instagram page. And she was feeling a particular way about the whole situation. Any which way people had things to say about her situation. And here's what they had to say. He's going to give everything that he didn't give to me to somebody else in a new relationship. This is a very common story that you hear on this app. All of the stories that we tell ourselves come from an identity. And so those stories are not always true. You could be telling yourself these stories based on a false identity. And as a result, those stories have nothing to do with reality. Some of y'all are mothering these men. And so you are teaching them how to have empathy, to be good communicators. And they're pushing you away and being avoidant and kicking and screaming, if you will. And you're pulling them back in and saying, this is how you do it. And I hate that for you. Holding space is one thing. But persistently begging someone to be an actual partner to you because they are severely emotionally immature is a personal choice that you don't have to make. Some of you guys are mothering these men. But for some of you guys, this is literally just not happening. But you do not have enough self-confidence or self-worth to tell yourself a true story. You do not have enough identity for that. It's just not true. You are not mothering nor molding anything. And they are not going to go on and be better to the next person. You just see yourself as unworthy. Some of you guys, this is a true story. Others, it couldn't be further from the truth. Have you ever actually tried to change your life? It is extremely hard. And making another person your foundation will never be real change. This story also speaks to the way you see yourself in a sense that, of course, it sucks when a relationship does not work out. And perhaps you don't get to experience a certain version of that person. But all you need to do is align yourself with what you want and another man will be that amazing person to you. Minus all the baggage. Because you learned the lesson. And so you really do need to ask yourself how you benefit from telling yourself these stories. How telling yourself these stories allows you to delay the hard work of figuring out why exactly it is that you feel unworthy. And deal with what lies behind your over-functioning and controlling ways. So yesterday I found out that my partner of seven years is in a full relationship. Go back and watch her video for context. Um, in the end of the video, she basically says that, you know, she doesn't know if she's psychic or whatever, but she just knew that her now ex was going to use all the lessons that he learned in their relationship and move on and use it in his next relationship. And 
I just wanted to say that 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 is not going to happen. You know, Um, he's still the same guy that he was with you. He probably hasn't changed much. And and she's going to find that out, too. And maybe maybe even longer. She'll be in it longer than you. Or maybe she'll figure it out earlier or whatever. But you can find someone who loves you. For you. Who doesn't cheat on you. Who's not an alcoholic. Who doesn't, you know, string you along. And do all those things that that horrible man did. Find someone better. He's not a prize. Don't waste any more tears over him. And she made some follow-up videos where she talked about the fact that he was not really concerned about her security when they were together and even when he was leaving the house um, before when he was going to meet his family. She also talked about the fact that um, he's going to come back to live with her for some months because the house needs renovation and her parents have said that he's the one that is going to do it. So I think he's maybe a contractor or something. So he's going to be living in the house with her when the renovation is occurring. My ex of seven years just moved out and he is in a new relationship with somebody else. So he is moving out of state and that is the end of my problem. A really prime example of our entire relationship is when I needed to go outside after he moved out, I noticed that the door was unlocked. He didn't lock the door and he left. He knew that I was home alone. He knew that the cats were here. He knew I'm living alone. And he still decided to not lock the door. We have a neighbor that's not very safe and he doesn't care about that. He knows that I don't feel safe around him. He doesn't care about that. And regardless if we had that neighbor or not, like I still don't feel safe as a woman living alone. And I didn't feel safe as a woman living with somebody else either. And every single night I would have to make sure that the doors were locked. And I would always ask like, hey, can you please make sure the doors are locked before you go to bed? And can you please make sure the doors are locked like when you get home, just make sure that the house is secure. And he would never do it. I would always have to go around and lock all of the doors, making sure all of the back doors, everything was locked before I went to bed. And it never felt like he genuinely cared how I felt about my safety. And the fact that the last time he has an opportunity to show me that he cares a little bit about me, just as a person, he doesn't do it. He doesn't lock the door. He doesn't apologize for his actions, which I honestly don't need his fucking apology because they didn't mean shit anyways. But he doesn't take that opportunity just to make sure the person that he's been with for the last seven years is safe in their home with the pets that they've owned together. It's just very telling. It's telling who he is as a person. It's telling how much he genuinely cared about me. And it's very telling about how our relationship went. I begged for so many things, basic things, things that I should not have to ask for. And I never got them. So find a person that will lock the doors for you that thinks you're valuable enough to lock the doors for and values your feelings and wants to make sure that you feel comfortable and safe within your own home. So my ex of seven years just got into a relationship with someone else after a month of separation. When he left, he was trying to sleep in my bed and told me he really wasn't interested in seeing anyone else. And it did seem like he kind of wanted to make it work, but there was a lot of signals that were really confusing. Um, and he really did say like, I'm not interested in seeing anyone else. Like that's not going to happen. Um, and I just had like an intuition feeling like you're going to meet somebody like, or like your parents are going to try to introduce you to someone. Try. Um, and then two weeks ago, he told me, um, that he may go on a few dates with somebody. And then about six days later, they're in a full relationship on Instagram. And to me, if you still live with someone, like I wouldn't allow my new partner to be posting things on Instagram out of respect for my ex who I still live with and who I'm going to be living with for the next couple of months because I have to do renovation at the house that they live in and that I still live in. Um, but that's just me apparently. So yeah, I don't really have control over it. My parents have control over it. They want him to finish it. Hopefully he's going to be staying in the mother-in-law and I don't have to see him or deal with him, but I don't know. I don't know what is going to be happening with that situation. So I kind of had to just go with the flow. Unfortunately, I really do wish I could kick him out. Oh, my thoughts about her situation. I feel like she's really, really hot by the whole thing that is going on because after seven years now you cheated in the relationship you became an alcoholic but she still wanted to try and save the relationship because 
she just wanted that time apart so that everybody can clear their head and then when they come back they would discuss and communicate on how they can be better in the relationship but the guy obviously was out of the relationship for a long time i think the cheating thing was just an excuse for him to finally leave the relationship so i understand why she's feeling a particular kind of way about the whole situation because she actually still wanted to continue the relationship she just wanted it to be a better relationship and for him to just after one month start a new relationship with someone else and practically doing all the things that she was asking for while they were together um it can be very hurtful it can be very painful and i understand all that she's going through now i think she needs to focus on herself more she needs to try and get herself together she needs to look for things that will make her happy and not really think about the guy i know it's going to be very hard especially as he's coming back to the house to renovate the house and he's going to be living with her so seeing him every day and maybe when he's discussing or talking with his new girlfriend that can really break her down i really don't know if she has the means to like travel for some weeks and when he first arrives um that i think that would help her i don't know since she cannot stop him staying in the house because her parents had one that involved in the whole renovation thing they are the ones that insisted that the guy renovates the house um i just feel like if she can get away for some weeks um when he first comes it's going to help her become stronger faster um i don't really know but i don't know if she has the means to travel um for some weeks because that might help her clear her head better any which way i just wish her all the best i know she's very very hot because it can be very hurtful because after seven years she'll be expecting to be either engaged or married and then the whole thing just it's it's annoying you first cheated you became an alcoholic and that's a red flag for her and then just um one month afterwards you've already started a new relationship it can be very very hurtful but i wish her all the best i hope she gets happier very soon i hope she gets stronger very soon i hope she um, sees value in herself and i hope she's able to meet somebody that would also value her better than her ex-boyfriend i don't know what you guys think about this whole story do you think that it was a good thing for her to still be hoping for the relationship after he has cheated and he was developing behaviors that she might not really like do you think the guy um is a douchebag for um cheating and then starting a new relationship um just a month after they broke up i would love to hear your thoughts about this whole situation so please leave your comment in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you are notified anytime I upload videos. Now, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.